Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic, ladies and gentlemen. I am, of course, the Conflict Nerd, and today I would like to show you some concepts that I have for some vehicles, and then I think we'll build... I don't know, a convertible car. Speaking of builds, though, if you ever have an idea for something you would like me to build in Scrap Mechanic, do go ahead and leave it in the comment section below or tweet it to me at Conflict Nerd because, seriously, I have a list and that list is growing and I really want to get building. So, if you can help me out with that, that would be great. Anyway, this is something that was tweeted to me. This is my concept, and I'm using the word concept because it's not very good and it's not finished, and eventually I will come back to it and probably finish it and do a proper version on camera. But uh, this is my concept Transformer. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a Transformer. It looks more like something that would be in a dodgy Mad Max uh, ripoff, but bear with me. Basically, <laughs> I say bear with me. This isn't about to get any better. This isn't magically going to turn into Optimus Prime. Don't worry. But basically, if we press 1, we have this. If we press 2... We have this, and if we press 3, the best thing happens. Yeah, that shield, though. That that shield, ladies and gentlemen, that is, uh... <laughs> this is our Transformer, which has quite the tendency for rolling over. So there is actually a strategy, a fourth button, as you can see, to prevent this kind of thing from happening. So if we just self-right, or, well, I say self-right, we'll just right the craft. Uh, go ahead and get back in. If we do 1, 2, and 3 to bring everything up like so... We then press 4, and it lowers itself. And with a longer wheelbase and the uh, slightly less sharp turning, what we now have is a craft that is a both a transformer and unable to fall over, which is kind of great. It can wheelie and uh, apparently fall over that way, which is interesting. I've never done that before. Uh, it also can't self-right this way, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, well, I guess we're stuck like this now, aren't we? Oh, no, never mind. Come on. Come on. You got this. There we go. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That, that was a struggle. But yeah, it's a transformer, sort of. It's a concept. Basically, what I really want to do with this at some point is spend way too much time trying to make it actually transform from a car into a robot. Not from a sort of dodgy Mad Max looking thing into, like, half a robot. Because right now, that's kind of all it is. Speaking of dodgy crafts, this was my attempt at the chopper from Halo 3, and it just... Again, it, it, this one doesn't work at all, and also my game has frozen. Great. Let's try that one again. Basically, this craft doesn't control like other crafts. There's no power to the wheels from the steering. All of the steering power goes to the thrusters there. Then, of course, we have these two buttons, which control, yes, the wheels, which aren't very good unless we're doing a bit of thrusting, which raises the back off the ground slightly. And then the turning's interesting, because the turning is controlled by turning one of the wheels off, and uh, providing just a little bit of thrust, and it sort of... Yeah, it rolls over a lot, basically. It's not very impressive, it's not very good, but it's, again, a concept of something that... I, I would love to say I'll, I would love to say I'll come back to this, but I probably won't, because I just don't think it's something that's going to work in uh, Scrap Mechanic whatsoever. Which is unfortunate, because thin vehicles and motorcycles and stuff like that will be awesome, but... I mean, you, you can't really do motorcycles in Scrap Mechanic right now because this is the only chair we have, and uh, even thin vehicles like this just don't work because they tip over so easily, so... It would be nice to find a way to do a thin vehicle that doesn't tip over, but right now, they're just... At least I can't find one. And now we come to this lovely terrain to have a look at this... My convertible car! <laughs> Might not look like it, but it's a convertible car. Yeah, it's uh, not very impressive either, but I mean, it's got a few features to it and some uh, dodgy suspension, which we're going to ignore because I'm actually going to be rebuilding this today. Uh, but we can open the door, which is super useful to get in. And then we press, like, what button to close it? Four to close it. And then if we press, uh, we'll go through all the buttons that aren't the roof. If we press uh, three, we have a hood there and you can see my engines and all of my control blocks. That's not all of my control blocks, but that's four of them. Uh, two of which are for the doors. Uh, two of which are for something else. I don't know. I think one of those is for the hood. Hold on. Two are for the doors, one's for the hood. What are the other ones for? Wait a minute. Two for the doors, one for the hood, one for the trunk, and then the roof controller is in the trunk. Okay. Uh, yeah, number two for opens the trunk. That's the roof controller in there. And then number one has the roof do this. 
It folds back, it folds back some more, and it nicely tucks itself in there, like that. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't look like much. It really doesn't. It's not all that impressive, honestly. I'm not a big fan of this. But, um... I mean, it sort of drives. It has really dodgy front suspension. I tried doing the three-tiered suspension that was on the, uh, the, the transforming vehicle, but it just doesn't work. What I will do, though, is I will show you the, the thinking behind the three-tiered suspension, because what should really have been done here is the, the whole thing should have changed. So I want to show you this before we actually get into building the actual transformer. And the reason for that is I just... I really like this uh, method of doing suspension. I think it works really well, and it's actually super useful if you build a really heavy craft. So we're going to just do that. We're going to get all the parts that we're really going to need here. And I, uh, I actually think that's all of them. So let's put down a lift. Again, I'm just going to be quick here. Uh, and we're going to just build something like uh, this here. Okay, so this is going to be our, um, our, our base for the craft, which I am making out of metal intentionally so that it's heavy as hell. Uh, we're going to make it a little bit longer so it doesn't just uh, sort of be a bit of a square. So something like that should be nice and uh, perfect. Go ahead and plop down. That's not the kind of chair we need. Uh, we want to plop this one down facing that way. And uh, we'll, ch we'll chuck uh, just a single engine block. That's really all we're going to need there. And uh, then what we want to do is get some metal blocks and we'll put them there. Uh, we'll put them there. We'll put them on the other side as well. And uh, we'll put them just there. And that's going to be where our wheels go. So what I'm going to do is I will show you what happens if we don't use my three uh, spring suspension system. So what we have here is the sport suspension heavily compressed. And because this isn't a full vehicle, you're not seeing the full effect of it. But say I make a full vehicle out of metal. What you're going to see happening is that suspension is going to close up completely like it's doing there, honestly, which it really shouldn't be doing. Uh, but if we just add a bunch more weight to this, say we build up a bit of a an actual vehicle here. So we just do uh, we do a front bit like this. We do something like this, which we're going to bring uh, just across like that. So it's sort of sloping down. We'll do a, uh, a back end on it. It's going to be a hatchback of some sort. So it's going to come up like this at the back. Uh, then it's going to sort of come in like this and then go uh, up again a little bit. And then say... Uh, We'll go up one more because it's a sporty little hatchback of some sort. Uh, then we bring the roof across to here. And uh, whatever happens, you know, we bring the thing up to uh, there like that. We bring a post up to there. And we'll just bring the roof to there. And of course, you know, this this whole thing, all this metal, which is what you may want to build a car out of. Or maybe, maybe you want to build like an APC or a tank or something like that. Either way, whatever you're building out of metal. Uh, as you can see, I know it looks ridiculous, but that's the point. It's supposed to be heavy. As you can see, our suspension is now completely compressed. It still sort of leans back when it moves forward, but... I mean, that's not really what you want to see. Completely compressed suspension is not a good thing. And there is actually a really easy fix that involves adding eight more springs. So previously, we had one spring attaching to this little cylinder, which is what's controlling our turning on these wheels. Uh, what we want to do now is actually bring a... Actually, we wouldn't really need to do this with the method that we're using here because the cylinder is actually below the vehicle itself. So what we could actually do is directly attach this bar, which is super important. So what we want to do is just, uh, I know I've knocked out a block there, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter for purpose of, uh, the purpose of demonstration. What we want to do is create this bar here, and this is going to be turning, uh, which obviously, you know, it's attached to the bearing, so the entire three block bar is going to be doing a little bit of, uh, rotating. So you do need to make sure you have the space to do this. This is why I often use the little, uh, post here, the little pipe, but, uh, that's okay. What you then do is you attach your three springs of suspension to each block. Okay, so what you want to do once you've got your springs attached is you put a pipe on each of the springs. Then in the middle one, you put a block. Then on the sides of the block, not the bottom of the pipes, you attach something like this. It doesn't have to be a pipe. It can be a block as long as it will interact, as long as it will collide with the pipe. Okay, so once you've got that all done, you put your bearing on the block as you usually would, like so. And uh, this is obviously going to be your drive. Uh, and then if we go ahead and put the wheels on here, like so, 
What you want to do is connect your engines as you usually would. So we'll go ahead and attach all of the four wheels to the engines. But uh, what you're going to see, what, what does this drive? It drives uh, that way. So rotate those to go in the right direction. What you're going to see is that it doesn't compress at all because you have a lot of suspension going on here. And that's that's the three-tier suspension system. The entire thing, all of those uh, those springs rotate on the little bars that you've put in there. Also, my frame rate is just not holding up too, too well. But there you go. Three-tier suspension system works pretty damn well. Very springy. Never actually tried this with the off-road wheels because that's, you know, a way to uh, pretty much end yourself. So... You know, give it a shot. Do the three tier suspension, three tiers, three spring suspension system in your vehicle today. Anyway, I spent quite a while showing you that. I'm supposed to be building a uh, convertible car. Oh dear. Well, this happened. So a convertible car. This one is was it, well, it was originally going to be a two seater, hence the space here. But this time around, I'm going to build a one seater, uh, one seated convertible car. And I'm going to use this as my base, like I did on the other one. Uh, I'm not really going to use the other one for all that much reference. That was really just sort of a, a test to see if it was actually possible. Well, I, I know it's possible. It was a test to see if I could actually do it, because it's a bit complicated, really, building a, uh, a convertible car. You need to uh, leave plenty of space for the roof at the back, which was a big deal in mine, and generally need to leave enough headroom for your character. And what I'm actually going to do with this one is... Um, I'm, I'm not going to put doors on this one just because it's an absolute hassle to get in and out of the vehicle uh, in general. So what we'll do is we'll leave this with a, a good bit of space at the front because, you know, it needs to look uh, somewhat sporty. And I do need to give it a bit of a decent wheelbase here. So, I mean, that, that seems like a reasonable size. It's got a nice big space for the engine, which... It's completely unnecessary in uh, scrap mechanic, but that's okay. So this is going to be our first uh, pivot point here. So this is going to come out like so, and like so. And whereabouts is the roof going to go is the question. Because I realize uh, while I'm not doing doors, we do need to do some uh, posts at the side to decide where the, uh, the roof kind of thing is going to go. So the roof itself... I guess, can sort of come out to, I guess, about this point, uh, possibly? Let's see. So if I go to there, is that enough? No, that's that's a little funky looking. Let's see if we can make that look a little bit better. If we just bring that up to there and then go like that. That's a little bit better. Okay. That's something I'm kind of happy with. Although, it's, it's still weird looking I'm finding I, I think this still looks a bit weird maybe the roof should actually sort of come down to meet these posts instead of uh, anything else going on there so that's that's maybe worth uh, wor worth looking into so I need to lower this to test what I've done to it, but if we just take out that you'll see that the roof itself does lower a little bit to meet those posts uh, and a first person view I mean you're really not going to see much it's a little dodgy and a little bit well, cramped, but the eye line is good. You can see out of there, <laughs> sort of. Uh, but what we can do is have a little look at the converting roof, which does this in an interesting manner. I mean, that's not so bad, in in my opinion. I, I reckon that looks um, fun. <laughs> it's, uh, definitely fun is, is a word I would use to describe that form of converting roof. Uh, Safe is not necessarily a word I would use to describe it, but uh, fun is certainly one of the words that could possibly describe this roof. I mean, if we do this kind of thing and sort of bring it all about and have it sort of, you know, convert in on itself a little bit and generally just, you know, look silly and fun. It's, it's fun, guys. It's fun. It's the word we're using. Buy this car. It's fun. I mean, so far, it definitely works. Like, it converts back like that. It doesn't look so bad. It's, uh, it's interesting is, is what this is. And also, apparently, I can put some blocks in there, which is kind of, kind of cool, too. I think what I'd actually like to put in those spaces, though, is, uh, some lights. I, I think that could look kind of nice if we do something like, uh, something like that in, uh, in those spaces. I mean, it's some lights, and, uh, they're not being obstructed by the converting roof, which is, is fun. It's fun, guys. 
anyway, I, I mean, that's a very basic converting roof. Uh, we do, of course, need to get some wheels on this thing and generally transform it into an actual car, because right now it's definitely not that. Uh, so if we just go ahead and do that, I need to be very careful with what I get rid of here. Um, so do a bit of this, tick these blocks out, and I shall just fill up that space. So uh, that is a space of five across, so one, two, three, four, five, five, and three, and then fill up that space. Okay, and that doesn't look so bad. Um, it might actually be worth replacing those blocks in there with uh, these ones, just for aesthetic purposes. I think that could look kind of nice if we just do that. Uh, for those interior spaces, so we'll just go ahead and do that again on this side and bring it up like that uh, That looks decent to me. I reckon that looks decent now. Here's the thing with this particular car now It's gonna be very tricky to Actually make this uh, work because it's potentially gonna be heavy as hell uh, so I do need to be aware of that fact, that it's potentially going to be heavy as hell. Uh, so what I'll do is do that for my bearing, do that for my wheel, and that doesn't look so bad. Uh, do that for my suspension. Is that the off-road suspension I'm using there? I think it is, yeah. That could be a bad thing, because it's probably a bit too soft. But we'll give it a bit of a test and see what happens. Uh, let's just lower the whole thing down. Um, actually, that's good. That's... That's what you want to see from some suspension, honestly. That's 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 good news. Uh, it worked. It's not too heavy at the back, so the uh, the converting car, thus far, is a little bit of a success. I guess what we need to do now is get the front on it and hope it's not going to be too heavy either. Which, by my thinking, it really shouldn't be. Is that a space of five? That is. That's perfect. Okay, let's do some engineering, guys. This, I'm I'm super pleased about this. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky because we need to use an extra block for the front to uh, actually make it turn. So what we need to do is take this uh, block out and this block out. And uh, I need to just put my microphone in front of my face properly because that would be a great idea. Uh, but we take those blocks out and we're gonna we're gonna put our pivot points in there, like so. Did I put these at the back? Tell me I didn't. No, I didn't put them at the top. Good. Okay, so the pivot points go in there, and as I've shown you before, we're going to use this uh, short pipe here to um, make the pivot point just extend a little bit. And then we do this uh, with the suspension there, and we do the same just there. And then at the bottom, of course, we're going to use the uh, lovely curved pipe there to put the wheel on, which I think looks really good using that uh, curved pipe. I think it looks great. And uh, now this will turn, basically. That's uh, that's good. The problem is, it really doesn't look like a sports car. It's going to look a bit more like a uh, a mess, really, is uh, is what this is going to look like. It's going to look like a mess because it is just a bit of a mess, really. It's it's not it's not by any means a uh, a sporty car. It is, however, a convertible, <laughs> so it counts. Okay. It can't. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Honest. Let's do some body work here. I have some ideas for um, what I would actually like to do for the uh, the, the body of this car, uh, which is actually sort of do that strip there, uh, and then we'll do sort of this kind of thing here, uh, if at all possible. So take that to there and there. Uh, then do this kind of thing, and basically it's going to sort of have wheel arches, as you can see. That's that's kind of how I'm going to make this look slightly less awful, is by giving it some slightly flared wheel arches at the front. Uh, which is hopefully going to make it look a little bit more fancy as well. Because if it doesn't have fancy, if it's not going to look fancy, it's not going to look uh, any better. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to look good, we'll put it that way, but... Um, I mean, hell, it can look a little bit fancy. That's not so bad, honestly. That's, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so it's got that going for it. And I think I would actually like to go ahead and attach a, something like this to the front as a bumper. Can I do it? Will this, uh, let me, how, how long is this? That's, um, is that three long or is that two? I think that's two, isn't it? 
I, I really can't... Um, no, it's three long. Damn it. Okay, have I got anything that would work as a bumper? That doesn't look so bad. I know those are smaller than the pipe corners there, but I actually like that. I think it's a nice little detail. I believe that's a table leg is uh, what I've used there for the the main body of the bumper. So that's, uh, that's not so bad. I, I like that. Now, here's the real question. It does hold. The thing, the whole thing is holding up, which is great news. Here's, here's another question though. Did I actually put an engine in this? I don't know if I did. I, I don't, I feel like, I feel like I didn't. I, I feel like that's a bit of an oversight on my design and that I got, might have got a little bit carried away with my, uh, with my, with my car here. So I feel like it's possibly a good idea to take the top off of this like so. And uh, maybe just go ahead and put an engine in here. So this is my convertible car with some wheel arches. It's uh, certainly a thing. I realize I could, uh, actually no, I couldn't. I was gonna say I could take the, uh, the wheel arches down a notch, but I really can't do that. It's just not a thing I can do. We do have a hood though, which opens like so, and the engine's in there and actually needs a little bit of uh, power behind it. So there we go, let's just do that. Let's also make sure the wheels are rotating the correct way, which they are now, I believe. Let's jump in the car, press one, and it goes. It does move, which is great. Now, here's a question. Why didn't I reconnect the, uh, why didn't I connect the button for the bloody roof to the thing there? That's not what I wanted. What have I disconnected? I've disconnected something. Uh, I've disconnected that, which was a bit of a bloody mistake. Uh, what I want to do is connect that button to there, because that's the very fast converting roof, apparently. Interesting. Um, question, does that still open? It does not. Uh, I need to fix that, because what I need is for this to rotate, uh, negative, ni negative 60 on, uh, on that one. So negative 60, up it comes. Might want to slow that down a little bit, because that's bloody fast in the converting. So, uh, now if I pop to my seat and press 1, closes nice and slowly, and that converts, well, still pretty bloody quickly. Um, that's fine, though. That's, that's no problem. It's a bit weird looking, honestly, the whole thing. It, it is, it is a bit weird looking. Those lights probably need to be, uh, taken out of those back spaces so that the roof can sort of slide down into those spaces the way it's supposed to. Uh... Although it really doesn't want to do that in general. Maybe I need to get rid of these blocks completely. Um, no, it's still not doing it. Uh, maybe there's more blocks I need to get rid of. Let's give it a shot and see what we can do. Just to tidy it up a little bit. Because it is annoying me that it doesn't sort of sit in that space properly. So we bring that across. We go and press this button. Does it go flush with the rest of it? That does. Beautiful. That's much better. Okay, now here's the question. Can I get my lights back in there? Because I quite enjoy my lights. No, I cannot. Okay, well, that's all right. Uh, what we'll do instead, then, is we will slap some more blocks just behind there and there. And then we'll put my lights on uh, just, say, there and there. And that's not so bad. It is a very square back to the vehicle now, unfortunately. I guess if we get rid of those bits, it's a little bit less square. But uh, still, ultimately, ultimately, quite a square craft, I suppose. Not ideal, but, uh, it's alright. Maybe if I add some of these, it'll look okay, but, uh, I have my doubts considering these are also medium weight, and I don't want to add too much of that to my vehicle, but, uh, I mean, that actually looks alright, now that I look at it. I actually quite enjoy the, the look of that a lot, honestly. I'm gonna add a few of those about here. There we go! It's driving, it's also rolling over, which is a bit of a problem, but it, I mean, it is... It is a long vehicle, it does have a converting roof, and it is driving. So I'm gonna call this a success, honestly. I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. It's, uh, a, it's a luxury convertible car with no doors. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could add doors. And I feel, you know what? <laughs> I was about to end the episode. I was about to do it, guys. I was about to. But I know someone's gonna complain if I don't add some fancy ass doors to this. There we go. Fancy ass doors. They open like so. Oh yeah, we got some fancy doors on this. I mean, I, I, say, I say fancy. Uh, in my head, I've just pictured gullwing doors. And uh, the problem is, 
I could probably make gullwing doors. In fact, I could super easily make some sort of gullwing doors on this, or those doors that sort of open out and then up. But I really can't be bothered making those, because the challenge was to make a convertible car. And I think I've done a pretty good job at making a fancy-ass convertible car. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's amazing is what that is. That is also going to roll over. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Oh, don't you roll over. There we go. There we go. We're good. All right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, a convertible car in Scrap Mechanic. As I said at the beginning, if you have any suggestions for things you would like to see me build in this game, do feel free to tweet them at me at Conflict Nerd, or you can leave them in the comments section below, and of course I will take some and plenty of suggestions from that. This, uh, this suggestion here came from the comment section, so feel free to leave your suggestions below. Anyway, that is going to be it. If you liked the video, like the video. If you disliked, dislike it, and uh, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.